<laughs> Guys, it's 2024. Tim's car is so 2023. It is time <laughs> to upgrade this thing. It has airbag suspension. We need to get rid of this garbage and put something back from the 90s, some real That's JDM right. stuff here. Guys, we got a brand new set of coilovers. <laughs> we got green. What are they? Tain I don't know. It's something Flex, like um, Flex something. It's got an R on there. It means race car. It's an R. It's going on Tim's car. We're going to make this thing drivable. It might take us some time, but coilovers are the first step because when Tim pulls this thing out of the shop, it just looks sketchy. It literally just cranks up one of the rear airbags. <laughs> it's got hydraulics that are controlled by some demon in this car. We need to ditch all that stuff. We need to put this thing to static, set the ride height, make it handle well. Tim wants to drive this thing. I do. Right, Tim? I do. See, that's his excited face. Mm -hmm. Tim, let me see your excited face. <laughs> <laughs> but first, before we swap the suspension out, the first thing we need to do is weigh the car. I think this thing is like 3,000 pounds. It's a kit car, so it could be light, but the fiberglass is pretty thick and it's got a pretty solid frame that Tim tested out in the front end. It has a very strong oh. frame in the front end. It can literally run into walls <laughs> and not damage the frame too much just some scratches. How much do you guys think this thing weighs? Comment below, let us know. Let's see if you get it right. I've only seen a little bit of this car. We've opened up the hood, I peeked in there. Obviously, we worked on the brakes and actually hooked up all four brakes, so they are working now. There's still something iffy going on. It doesn't really stop the way it should. There are probably so many other things wrong with this car that we are gonna find when we start unbolting parts, so stay tuned for that because who knows what kind of rat's nest of just complete chaos we're gonna find in this thing. So we got Tim the absolute best coilovers ever made. I'm lying. Look, these things are basic. They're literally called like basic Z's or flex yeah, Z's. Those, or like, those are but, a step up from the basics. Okay, one step mm. up. They're steel camber plates. They're nothing incredibly fancy. But the difficult thing was actually finding shocks for this car because it's based on a second gen MR2 and there is not a lot out there for this thing. So we could have gone full custom and spent 15 grand on some crazy all-ins adjustable shocks. These were cheap. These were less than two grand. We're gonna put them on the car for now. It is gonna ride so much better. It's going to make this thing actually drivable because with those airbags, it's sketchy. If you're going around a corner and one of those things deflates or inflates, <laughs> like you're probably gonna crash. I Not crash. Good. He already crashed. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't because of the suspension. I hope it's an easy install. The manufacturer that built the car didn't put the airbags on it. They didn't do the wide body. They didn't do all these other mods. So there's a lot of stuff on here that someone else has modified, probably at their house or in their backyard. I don't know, but that's kind of what it looks like. This is just one step in the right direction. Before we do anything to the car, we're gonna weigh it. I'm saying 3,000 pounds. Tim, what do you think? I think 28. I'll, I'll go light. 32. 29. All right, drop it down. Let's yeah, see. so it's on the scales. All right, drop it down. Woo! What are we at? <laughs> Mike's a cheater. He got this thing on the scales before. Mike, I, uh, oh, Mike, Mike came in early <laughs> and he put it on the scales. I'm just pretty good at looking at a car and knowing how much it weighs from weighing what? so many cars. Like, dude, I've literally had a thousand cars on a scale at my shop over the last 20 something years. So, how much do you weigh? Uh, like, like 160? 160. Cool. 32. Oh, you're doing which car? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, we both win. All right. <laughs> All right, next step. So we're gonna put this thing up on jack stands, pull the wheels off. Sean, did you bring your wheel sock? Oh, we need your wheel sock. <laughs> 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 Pet Boys, yeah. kind of a thing, AutoZone. Uh, All right, so first thing, <laughs> road trip, <laughs> parts. The 550, this is the last time that you guys are gonna see this car here in this shop. It is leaving today. Carlos is coming by later today at the end of this video and he is going to pick it up. It is going to Canada to clear customs and then it's getting shipped off to the Philippines. We've got everything in. Tim got the dashboard in, he got the door panels in. He's got his foot inside of a chain right now. So he's been really, really busy. And the good news is, it's ready to go. Tim, let's go to the store, come on. Okay. Close the door. Mike, yeah. Mike, the van's yeah. over here. Dude, you see what's on the street right here? Oh! oh. We got a Bentley. Bentley boys! We don't have the van anymore. Boss is gone, take his car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I checked with him before he left. I was like, hey, did you check the mileage on that car before you uh, got on the plane? He's like, no. I'm like, oh, no problem. Dude. We got it. <laughs> All right, Tim, are you driving? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? I got the keys, I'm driving. 
Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's mine. You ready? Dude, it's not bad. It runs good cold, too. <laughs> you ready for a massage? Oh, dude, yes. Here we go. Oh, dude, I got you. Oh, yes. Lumbar. How's that feel, Mike? Oh, that's good. My lower back right there? Yeah, dude, I got you. Luxury. Luxury with some power. This thing's got torque. It's not bad. Dude, it's got that whistle muffler. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I heard that, like, at the top of the rest. Yeah. Oh. Viper, armed. At 1.5? It's got Ooh, it. And it's black? Okay, we gotta get that one. You like the black ones? I like the black ones. I mean, it's black wheels. I don't like chrome much. I don't like the wheels at all. Ooh. Automatic. <laughs> get breezy back there? A little bit. Soft clothes didn't have soft clothes. Guys, it is the new year, 2024. This year, I want to prioritize my health even more than last year. And in order to do that, I want to take the GT4 grueling out and go grab some fresh veggies and some supplements. All right, let's go. Luckily, thanks to AG1, they got me covered. Let me take you guys back to the shop and I'll tell you all about them. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. I've been drinking AG1 as a part of my daily routine for a while now, and I love it. The grocery store supplement aisle can be so overwhelming. With AG1, it takes all the guesswork out of finding the right supplements and combining them. It is all in one easy scoop. Before drinking AG1, I used to feel bloated throughout my day, but thanks to AG1's probiotic, prebiotic, digestive enzymes, and other whole food nutrients, my stomach's overall gut health has improved. So guys, don't miss out on all that AG1 has to offer. Go to drinkag1.com slash DDE or click the link in the description to get a free one year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2 plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. Guys, it's 2024. It's time to start prioritizing your health. So go to drinkag1.com slash DDE. Come on guys. It's time to start getting your life back together. All right, let's take a look and see what we're working with here. The airlines has got to go. Those are gonna be a bit of a challenge considering that the studs are literally touching this tube here. Well, that's interesting. Other than that, it's a very, very basic suspension design. We got the two bolts on the bottom that connect to the knuckle. Three bolts on top, pop these things out, put the new ones in, set the ride height. We'll worry about alignment later. Tim doesn't need an alignment right now. You know it's missing a few lugs? Yeah, that's why I wanted to get some new lugs, but unfortunately we got the, we got the wrong size. Their spacers have converted it from uh, 12 millimeter by something to half inch 20 thread. So, all right, step one. Air it out. I wanted to cut it. Nope. Too late. Cut it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> nice and tight, you know? Man, ever since we got the car, I'm so grateful that I got it. I just haven't got the chance to really drive it, drive it. So hopefully now it's a little bit closer to actually driving properly. So I'm excited to see the air actually, well, not work, but air get removed and uh, the back not air around and shift while it turns on and sometimes shift while it's driving. And then the front, maybe we could slam it a little bit and actually have the wheel turn. Just a little bit, right Mike? It's a lot of a lot of good things that are gonna happen when we put the new suspension on. <laughs> Solve a lot of these problems. But let's get the car to the ride height where we want it, set that ride height, and then see what we have to do for clearance. Cause right now, it's so hard to tell. It's literally one side's up, one side's down, the front's up, one rear, like it's just all over the place. It is a mess. So uh, while the boys are struggling back there, the front's actually pretty easy, but I'm not gonna say nothing. What'd you say? Nothing, we're good. I'm. It's, I'm struggling up here. So hear me out, all right? We slot these holes. I was thinking the same thing. So it's easier and it gets more positive camber. 
Well, that sounds like a negative to me, but I think the positive side of things would be that if we slot <laughs> these holes, we can put the nuts all the way on and then put them in their position. Well, we'll have some adjustability. It might even need to go out because right now the shock is hitting the frame. Yeah, they need to notch that a little more. Yeah, it's like grease coming out of that boot. <laughs> oh boy, that's weird. A couple more burnouts, we're good. <laughs> a couple more burnouts. <laughs> Almost. Oh, it's out of there. Usually you only get grease coming out of there when CV joint's getting super hot. That is sealed, that's got a band on it and it's pushing out. So that could have something to do with the fact that this axle is hitting part of the subframe here, pushing and loading up against it. So it's probably got a lot of wear on the inside of that axle, but you know, it'll work for now probably. Tim will break it when he does some burnouts. We'll put a new one in it. Yep, there it is. Work harder, not smarter. Right, Mike? That's right. These are definitely the wrong size bolts. Oh, for uh, sure, they're, they're half inch. Yeah. Like 13, Standard, yeah. it's like some construction yard hardware over there. It is not made for a car. If it can hold up a building, the it'll hold suspension. <laughs> <laughs> the old ones are slotted, so you normally you'd have some sort of adjustment for camber. Yeah, but look at that. Somebody slotted that, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Somebody got in it. Cause that's so not, they were. Oh no, maybe they were. Maybe, they were. maybe, maybe that's just a bolt, bolt yeah. grinding on it. These new ones, um, they just have oversized holes. No. Well, they're just circle, circular holes, yeah. so there's no slot. So it should be fixed. Yeah. You can you can get like four or five degrees of camber adjustment out of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me give it a little. Yeah, where do you want a little? Two you want a three quarter, quarter, quarter degree? We're doing a little quick camber adjustment. It's not going to be right because the car is in the air, but at least we kind of get an idea. This is the iPhone. iPhone measure. Need a camber gauge. <laughs> All right. Where are we at? That's zero right there. All right, lock it down. All right, lock it, lock it down. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so while Sean's working on the front end, which is pretty easy, bolts up, lots of slop, but that's another story. We're gonna work on the back. So we're drilling some pilot holes here on those three corners, and I'm gonna drill them out with a bigger drill bit, and then we'll slot them. So basically we'll have an oval hole here so we can actually put the camera plates in, slide it towards us, put all the nuts on just till they're touching, and then we can slide them in and maybe even have some adjustment up there. So the shock was hitting here. We've obviously got some slop in the bottom holes. This will just give us a little bit more adjustment and make it easier to get those shocks in and out of the car. All right, well, Tim's working on that. I'm gonna take care of these for him and uh, put them in their proper place. Now they're finally home. So the front air was working, right? Because the front end was up in the air. Yeah. So fully extended camera plate to here, we've got like, we're gonna be like two inches higher than fully extended. So we're gonna have to just put this all the way down and we might have to flip this whole thing upside down because of this space here to get it low enough. So we only have this much travel. So moving it up that much, I don't think it's gonna put it at the right. Right, right, so yeah, we'll start by just slamming these all the way down. All the way low. Yeah, that's the first step. Front of the car is like really low. Yeah. Maybe they had to run a shorter shock to make these things work. <laughs> Absolutely. There you go, that sounds good. Got some adjustment there. So basically we just kind of built camber plates in the back. So makes it a lot easier to get on. That took way less time. Now, if we need to change the camber and do like a fine adjustment, cause it's pretty tough to do the camber change at the bottom without the cam bolt. So some of these cars that have the adjustment in the bottom actually have a cam bolt, which is like a round bolt with a lobe on it. So as you turn it, it'll change the camber. That makes it really easy to set. This does not have that obviously. It's just got those bolts going through the holes with tons of slop. So we kind of like rough set the camber, get as close as we can, and then have some adjustment in the top to fine tune it and dial it in to make the alignment perfect. I mean, that's pretty flat, I think. Well, flat's I mean, cool, but yeah. is, it, is it clearance? I mean, it's definitely sanded more than it was before. I mean, the paint's gone. <laughs> it might clear. 
I could go a little more. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> we clearanced the rear subframe, so hopefully the axle is clear. And then we slotted the holes, so the coilover went in super easy. Let's get this thing tightened down and see where it sits. So we're gonna pull the air tank out of here. We're just trying to figure out what kind of fasteners. Oh, he's, got, no he's got no fasteners. <laughs> oh, there's one. That's like a wood. Oh, there's a piece of wood right there, dude. <laughs> Stinky air. Florida. Florida air. Oh no! <laughs> we caught the Florida. <laughs> Find out. Wait, wait, wait. Something's <laughs> hanging on there. This is a little uh, bracket. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait air hose. Wait. Air hose. That's a hundred pounds. Woo! Oh, Dave! Woo! <laughs> Safe. The car is dirty, Tim. It is. Florida debris. Check this out. Arizona debris. What's up? What's so here's the, the ECU Masters EMU box in the bracket in the mount, and it's sitting on top. Chilling. So let's just go ahead. And, uh... Oh. Pop that thing in there. Throw some slip ties on it, some duct tape. Put this thing back in there. Yeah. Is there anything else that it's just like a wood mounting plate? Dude, I wonder if a stereo shop put this in, because that's a very stereo shop. The cutting board. <laughs> Actually looks like a decent piece of wood there. <laughs> Some good wood. Good wood. Oh, it was a tent. Yep. It's a 10 and a self tapper oh, combo. Oh. Yep, yep. Woo! That's special. How do you know it was a GT4 part? How do you know that, Tim? Because in EMSA, you need a fuel pump out right here. See? Because this is a race car. Woo! Oh, uh, hey. right the oh, yeah. That's crazy. Where was it? Dude, look at that other one sticking out down there. Bro, look at this. Check this out. Look at that guy. You could literally put a nut over here and a bolt and put it in properly, but they're just like, rip, 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 send it, done. Car's finished, come pick it up. Oh, it was a good thing I didn't try to grab that from oh, the bottom. Oh, he almost got it. Jeez. Right. Dude, this is dangerous. <laughs> so much, so much zigzagging. Right, that's out. It's oh, this one right here? It's just chilling there. Yeah, that was just for extra. That was just in case they wanted to, you know, yeah, no, yeah, it's, get it's poked just... from the backside. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, well. All right, mystery wire. Who wants to cut it? Cut it. I'm gonna cut it. Right? All right, cut just it. Cut it. Cut it, Mike. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. oh, I had a lot of wires in there. Yeah, that's a control panel. Let's see how many wires are in there. I see. Five. Let's see. Oh, it's a shielded wire. Too. Yeah, it's a shielded wire. Hmm. Four wires plus a shield. That's the ground, so it's fine. I think it's just a shield, but. Wait, but why? Why would you need a shield? That's good. That's something important. <laughs> Watch. That's a crank That's signal wire. <laughs> Cam and crank. <laughs> oh, if it doesn't run. I mean, it was going to the airlift system. So, what's this one do? What's that one do? Let's cut it. Uh, doesn't do anything now. Can't stop Mike now. I don't know. There's just too much stuff here. We got to get rid of some of this. What's this one do? Uh, that, dude. We got to we got to get to 2,800 pounds. This one do? I already called 2,800 pounds, and Mike is helping me get to 2,800 pounds by cutting out your wiring harness. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need all that copper. <laughs> More you remove, closer we are to 2,800 pounds. It gets lighter and lighter. I don't know. It's looking. I guess it looks better in there. At least you can get a vacuum on there. Room yeah, for activities. Yeah. I gotta throw these things away immediately. Sean's already looking at them like, ooh, I wonder if I could put these on my IS. I gotta get rid of these things before he starts some other bullshit project. So, to the dumpster they go. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? Push the tank. What tank? That's <laughs> like, damn, I kinda wanted that. You want a what? Man. Man. <laughs> All right. It's in the dumpster. Fun police over here. <laughs> Sean's the kind of guy that wouldn't fix a power steering leak, but he'd spend days trying to make some old airbags work on his car. 
I would. I would. <laughs> See? <laughs> Mike's not lying. I'm, I'm trying to help you. Yeah, you got two project cars now. <laughs> you do? do. Yeah. Yeah. Work on those. Nah, it's <laughs> too easy. <laughs> oh! So which one did you jack up first? Um, the front. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Never mind, we're not good. We're good. You're not good. No, we're good. Let me, hold on, let me. Let's go. <laughs> Pick it up. Honestly, it's pretty level. The problem is that it's pretty high. It's not bad. It's not too bad though. Honestly, I don't think we can go any lower in the rear. And I don't think we can go any lower in the front. So it's good. Uh, <laughs> it'll settle. It, it'll, it'll settle a bit for sure. We might have to get creative. It's not bad. I mean, if it was my car, I'd be upset. But it's not my car. <laughs> we can just add a side skirt, add a diffuser, add some things. You should put some bags in it, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, bags would be sick, because then you can slam it, yeah, exactly. and then when you need to go through driveways and stuff, you can raise yeah, it up. Dude. Bags are pretty sick. I know some They're good. That. Just threw some out. He's local. All right, well, it is on the ground, and honestly, it is higher than I would like to see. I think it would look a lot better if it was lower. Shocks are working, though. That's good. So we can mess with that later. That's gonna take quite a bit of time. Basically, take everything back apart. For now, I think you should drive it. Okay. Because you honestly, like you've been driving it on a three wheel kind of a setup for every time it's been out of the shop. So I think we should move all these cars, get this thing outside and you should jump in it and drive it and see how it feels with the new coil. You think it's still gonna rub at this height? You might. It looks it way, looks way better. Yeah. Okay. It, it might rub that bar in the front that we were talking about that's inside of the uh, oh, shop. Yeah. Wall. shop. But it's not gonna hit, like before it was literally hitting Yeah, it was this, already like, like resting on it right here. now. Oh. So it's way better. I mean, this the is- The caster's off. The caster's off, the camber's off. It, it needs some help. <laughs> we're moving in the right direction, probably. Like, I think so. It's looking better. I think, I think so. It definitely is better than it was. All right, car number one to move out of the way. Hey, <laughs> Car number two, slightly less loud. All right, next. Car number three is actually the quietest car. Still a V12 though. Make sure I don't scratch Tim's front bumper. <laughs> at least it's PPF, did you see that? Tim's car? Yeah, look at it. Look at that PPF right there. Hey. <laughs> it's protecting the paint. <laughs> All right. Last one. <laughs> you gotta do your inspection. <laughs> yeah, exactly, just fill out my little form. This had dirt already, this was already dirty, this was scratched. Probably gonna be more comfortable too. Oh, extra padding. <laughs> All right, careful. Yeah, it's careful. Like, oh, take your foot up. Oh. Bring it in. There we go. You gotta watch that corner. Time for my car to go out. Get a feel for these new coils. Yeah, look at that, graceful. Smooth. So smooth. Leave All the right. bubble wrap in there? Yeah. <laughs> in case we need a move. Hey Mark, check this out. So what? Tim's, Tim's guiding me in, look at that. Oh, I was dude. Like, Are you sure I should keep coming forward? Because it looks <laughs> like I'm inside of the Huracan right now. <laughs> yeah. That is definitely the most comfortable car of all of these cars. Not that exciting, but very comfortable. All right, all the cars have been moved, so that means it's time for Tim to drive his car. Tim, you ready for this? I'm ready. Let's go. Carlos is here just in time. Good, 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 good. 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 Tim, ready? are you bringing the car inside? In a bit. 
Yeah. Oh, that was bad. That was a miss. We missed there it we completely. There you go. Come on, Carlos. Are you tired or something? Tired, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you, you have a short drive ahead of you, at least, so don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta, gotta We're just going up the road, man. <laughs> right. Just just right up the road a little bit into a snowstorm. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like fun. It's been warm all winter, and now the temperature is dropping 20 degrees this weekend. Are you going to take Tim's car with you? Yeah, that's what I thought. We're, it's going to Canada, right? Oh, it is? Philippines, or where it's going? <laughs> this one. This one, Carlos. This one's going. That one's staying. Yeah. Yeah, no. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, 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 let's shut her down for the night, guys. <laughs> I'm going to give this baby her first test drive on the new coilovers. How are you feeling, Mark? I'm feeling good. Are you excited? I am. Hopefully, now it won't like do weird things under acceleration. <laughs> Remember, last time it ran out of gas and had bad gas in it. So now, hopefully it rips again with the new gas. We never got to drive it when we went to, on that fuel run. So now it's got fresh gas, new coils, you ready to go? Fresh gas, kind of fresh driver. What? I think you're fresh, Tim. Ow! Ah! All right, let's start it up, Tim. I mean, honestly, just watching it go down the street, it looks like night and day better. How's it feel? It feels great. I can actually turn the wheel and actually make a turn now. better dude thank you damon and dave this thing is so awesome now that it's 75 percent sorted <laughs> but uh man that was awesome let's uh go see the 550 go bye bye with uh carlos all right carlos it's time for the 550 carlos. say goodbye listen you guys have to say goodbye to the car man this is the last time you're gonna see it this is my favorite thing is this well, <laughs> <laughs> that is genuine Ferrari sound right there. You cannot replicate that. So you have to actually order these parts from the factory to be able to hear that noise. Okay, yeah, that is a brand That's new. How you know it's so you guys, you guys won't have anything like this for a while. So thank you. Because now uh, you do music to my ears. Are... Yeah, <laughs> Bentley just don't Bentley's have don't that, have that extra. No, no. Let's hear it one more time. Let's hear it one more time. Dude, that's. You're gonna miss that. Carlos. I am gonna miss that. Carlos. You have a lot of time I'm in this car, dude. I'm sad to see this go, honestly. You have a lot of time in it. Yeah. This is, you know, like this is the start of me working with DDE is this car. Yeah. That's how the whole thing came about. Yeah. So seeing it go, yeah, it's sad. And put a lot of uh, a lot of time into this thing. Like you build all the custom, all, all everything. The arrow, You've done everything with it. The yeah. Cage, the fuel cell, the exhaust system, all the sheet metal panels back here, angle kit, the custom e-brake assembly so we could keep the ABS. Like we did a lot of stuff. And we got the car completely stripped with everything just in boxes. Nothing was labeled. It was just a bunch of little sandwich baggies with some random screws and stuff and a harness that was just like shoved in the corner. So- Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, dude, Tim and I spent a lot of time figuring this thing out. Yeah. <laughs> this car was my first time getting a ride along with Mike when we took it out to Colorado. Oh, that's right. Uh, that was my first time with you and I was like, that was the experience, man. This car, it, it was a hit out there, man. At oh that, yeah. At that, uh, dude, how often do you see a Ferrari drift car barely ever right and this thing is sick it sounds good it looks killer but we'll we'll do another one similar we've got the 599 now Great. and i mean you heard that thing that thing screams so 
doing the same kind of thing to, to that car as we did to this, just the sound on track is going to be insane. And it's got like 150 more horsepower than this car. Yeah, so. so this is the original, but you guys have learned a lot with it, I think. You could tell that like there is so many different things you had to do a couple times just to nail it down, like you're talking about with the ABS to be able to keep it, that kind of thing. I remember that discussion. That took ages, didn't it? No, I, we figured it out pretty quick, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everything was great. Everything was easy. One time, everything was one shot. <laughs> We're the best. Uh, any yep, more questions? <laughs> That's it guys. The 550 is officially gone. This car is finally starting to feel normal. Like the suspension made a huge difference. I didn't think it was gonna make that big of a difference to be honest with you. Man, just driving it and I like felt it out and then I started getting a little confident but I didn't want to push it too hard. It's solid. It wasn't like bouncing around like it was doing weird roller coaster things and the brakes Work pretty okay. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Now I might need a handbrake back in it with the second caliper. <laughs> but we'll save that for later. There's a couple more cool things coming soon to this car, but for now, it'll get a little bit of rest. And thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next.